Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be doing something that a lot of people actually recommended or asked me if it works, which is a little trick to soundproof a door by spraying spray foam inside a hollow core door. Now, of course, most interior doors inside a house are hollow core. Basically, all that means is that the door is hollow. It's just wood and an empty space in between the two lats. And a solid core door is a door that is solid wood or whatever material it's made of. Solid core doors will stop sound a lot better than a hollow door. And by adding spray foam inside the hollow core door, we'll find out if by adding mass, if it's actually going to stop sound because just adding mass doesn't really always work. It's what type of mass that you're actually putting into the space that you want to soundproof, that you want to insulate. Now, all insulations are not created equal. The reason why I usually don't recommend spray foam for soundproofing is because it doesn't really work. It just sticks right onto the wall. The foam doesn't stop sound whatsoever. And that's why mineral wool or just something that is made specifically for stopping sound and not only for stopping heat and cold from either coming in or out of your home. So let's try. So basically the first thing that you'll want to do is to remove the door handle. And with this door, this is solid, this is hollow, and this is solid. So how I will, most likely your door, if you take the doorknob off, it could be hollow. So you could just shoot it right down. However, with, with this situation, all I need to do is take the doorknob off, take the end off and drill a hole from the solid into the hollow. It's pretty simple and then I'll just stick the tube right in the hole and try to fill it up. So we will begin with just music followed by traffic noise. So now we're doing it without anything in the door to give a better idea of what we're looking at. All right, and now we will try the traffic noise. Just to give you an idea. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment, I would love to hear your feedback, and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. Now it's time to remove the doorknob, all you'll need is a screwdriver. Just remove the two screws and you should be good to go. So now that the doorknob is removed, I will now have to drill a small hole from where the solid section meets the hollow section of the door so I can apply the product inside the hollow section. And now it's time to get your kind of spray foam and attach the small little hose into the tip of the can where the spray foam will come out of. Just don't push into it. Just screw it on because, well, I usually just push a little bit too hard while I screw it on and it, well, as you saw. And now all you need to do is stick it in the hole and squeeze the trigger to start spraying. It will come out as some sort of a thick liquid. However, that liquid will hopefully all drop down to the bottom of the door and start expanding. One thing I am not doing, which I should be doing, is wearing gloves. That's one thing I usually forget, but you should not forget to wear gloves while handling this type of product. It gets on your skin and it is quite difficult to get off. If you do get some on your skin accidentally, the easiest way to get it off is to basically wash your hands right when you have it on your skin to easily get it off while it's still in a liquid form. If you did get some on your skin and it has already dried, then the best thing to do is just try to scrape it off as much as you can. Get the big chunks off and all you'll have left is little chunks here and there. After that, get some petroleum jelly and rub it all over your fingers 
where the spray foam is still on. Then just apply a silicone glove, leave it on for about two hours, and then take it off. And by that time, hopefully, the spray foam will have reverted to a liquid form, and then you can just wash your hands with soap and water. So now that I've applied the spray foam on the bottom half of the door, it is now time to go on the top half of the door. And how I will do this is drill a hole on the top of the door and basically spray the foam downwards. All right, now it's time to apply the spray foam and I'll probably have to use an entire can for this and just basically spray all the way until you start seeing the spray foam come out of the hole of where you're spraying your foam into. All right, so now that a couple of days have passed, um, it is time to try the sound test with the application inside the door. Now we'll find out if there's a little bit of difference, if it can at least skim one decibel. I don't think it's worth it anyway, but we'll see. This is quite unscientific. I understand that. You'll probably tell me a few times in the comment section, which is again fine, but this is what people suggested. Just drill holes inside a hollow door and spray some foam in it and just uh, soundproof your door. We'll see. All right, now for the sound test with the application inside. We will be testing it with the music exactly like we did before we began this little project. And now with the road noise. So as you can see, there's not really much difference. You still saw how many decibels was coming through the hollow door versus the solid foam door, which didn't make much of a difference. So if you're looking to soundproof a door, this really is not the way to do it. It's a little costly, it's a little messy, and really the only thing that you need if you wanna soundproof a door on a budget is a door sweep, some caulking, acoustic caulking around the frame and around the inside, and also a weather strip video right up here to guide you through that process. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and also leave a comment. Thank you very much. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website, soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video, and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content.